Hi, I'm Joan, and this is a video tutorial for um, finishing the confectioner's wrap, which is a design I did available on Ravelry as of April 2019. The wrap itself is striped, it's a parallelogram, and um, after the shawl is complete, there are pearl ridges in the pattern to which I've added some applied crochet chain. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do the applied crochet chain in the pearl ridges. So you can see that the pearl ridges actually create a little bit of a valley in the knitting. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to be adding this chain into each of these ladders that you can see here. So I like to start since it's a parallelogram on one of the shorter um, lengths of pearl ridges um, that are created just to get the hang of it. And then once you get more comfortable doing it, you can, you obviously have to go to longer and longer um, lengths and then the lengths become shorter again. So just for the purposes of demonstrating the video. I'm gonna start in a light area. This is not the shortest um, of crochet chains, but it is um, an area where I think you're gonna be able to see it. Um, I need a crochet hook, and I'm using a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook on a 4.0 millimeter um, knitted piece. The piece was knitted with the US 6. Um, and I'm doing that just because I want something a little bit smaller to get into those ridges. And I'm also taking um, my yarn here. Um, I'm not cutting it, I'm gonna leave it on the ball um, just because I don't know how long um, a length I'm going to need. So to begin, what you're going to do is you're gonna take your crochet hook and you're going to insert it from at the edge from front to back. Um, so get as close to that edge as you can. Then you're going to pull up a loop of yarn. So I'm gonna put my yarn over here um, and pull up a length, a loop of yarn. And just hang on to that yarn for now because um, it's important since it doesn't, it's not holding on to anything, it is just gonna come right through if you're not careful. Um, and then you can see that there is another ladder here of pearl. So I'm just gonna insert right above that first ladder and pull a loop through again. Give the first loop a little tug to secure it and then pull the second loop through the first loop. And that's our first, our beginning of our crochet chain. Um, so again, it's above the ladder, through, pull up a loop, and again, pull the second through the first. One more time, front to back, through, pull up a loop, and pull it through. Uh, you wanna keep the tension fairly even, um, but you don't wanna make the chain too tight because you don't want it to pucker the yarn, uh, the knitting itself. So you can see that it's starting to form a little chain. So let's see, so one more time, front to back, pull up a loop and pull the second through the first. So I'm just gonna bring this a little bit closer to the camera so you can see the chain that's beginning to form. And that's it. Um, once these are secure, you'll have a nice tidy chain going up. It'll kind of look like plaid. Um, this is another way to create a little bit of plaid work in your knitting. So if you um, have any questions, you can write to me at joan at Paper Moon Knits. Dot com, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thanks for joining me today.